Knowing how to format a hard drive seems like something that should be pretty simple, but with many aspects of computing, there are added layers of complexity that might come into play. Whether you've just bought a new internal or external SSD, you might be struggling to use it as it's not been formatted correctly. In today's video, we'll go over some simple tips on how to format common types of drives from internal SSDs in your PC to external drives that you might be using between two different computers. Before we get into the nitty gritty details of formatting a hard drive or SSD, always make sure you back up any valuable data. Reformatting a drive will erase the stored data on your drive. So without using sophisticated methods to recover it from a formatted drive, it's best just to back up before proceeding any further. First, let's start with reformatting an internal or external drive. Luckily, formatting a hard drive or SSD is extremely easy to do. If you want to reformat a drive like your Rocket Nano or for example, your Rocket Q SSD, then follow these simple steps. All you have to do is firstly, open up the file manager on your PC. You can do this by searching for File Explorer in Cortana if you don't have the icon in your taskbar or press the Windows and E keys on your keyboard. Then click this PC in the sidebar, right click the drive that you want to format and then select format. If you can't find the drive here, then keep watching as our next method will help with this. A pop-up will appear with a few options for formatting the drive. Here are what all of the terms mean and what are the best settings that you might want to use. File system. This determines the way files are stored on the drive. Not every file system will work with every operating system. You will see NTFS as the default option. However, if you want to use your external drive or internal drive for both Windows and Mac, then XFAT is the best option in most cases, as it will be recognized by pretty much all operating systems. Allocation unit size. Just leave this to whatever is already selected. Volume label. This is what the drive will be labeled as. Feel free to pick a fun name if you want. Quick format. This speeds up the formatting process by not overwriting the entire drive with zeros and stuff like that and checking for the drive for any errors. If unchecked, your computer will carry out a full format so the current data is harder to recover. Once you have chosen your desired settings, click start and watch the magic happen. You can also reformat an internal and external SSD by using disk management. Press the Windows and R keys together and a run box will appear. Type this into the box and press enter a new window will appear. Now find the disk number that you wish to format as this correlates with the drive that you've inserted and right click the basic data partition box. Select format and a new window will appear. Follow the same steps as before and press OK. A warning box may appear. Just click OK and the reformatting will be completed. There you go. You have just reformatted your drive and you have a fresh storage amount for you to play with. Now let's talk about a drive that has never been used before in your system. If you've just built a PC or added a brand new SSD like our super fast Saban Rocket 4 Plus to your existing computer, you may have to follow some steps before you can actually store data on it. This is also why your SSD might not be showing up under my, the My PC section because it's not readable yet to the OS. This is typically called initializing the drive. If the hard drive you want to format has never been used or it has just been wiped clean, then you need to partition that drive in order for your Windows PC to use it. First, press the Windows and X keys together and then press the K key after to access disk management. If this is a new drive, then you may see a pop-up that says initialize disk and asking what type of partition style you want to use for the disk. It is a good idea to leave it at GPD selected since this is the newer standard that will work best with your Windows computer. Master Boot Record or MBR for short is only required if the drive is being used with an older PC or for certain specific use cases. MBR only works with drives that are two terabytes or less typically. Once you have made your selection, click OK. Now it's time to actually format the drive so you can store data on it. Now right click the section that says unallocated and select new simple volume. A pop-up will appear and just click next and then next again. Here assign a drive letter to your SSD or hard drive from the drop-down menu and then click next. 
For the file system, leave NTFS selected if this is an internal drive as this is the default Windows file system. And since this is an internal drive, you're probably gonna be leaving it in your PC. So there's usually no reason to go with another file system. We'll just keep it simple for this video. If you are using an external SSD or external hard drive, then XFAT might be the best option if you plan on using it with other system OSs. Leave the allocation unit size as default and in the label text box, type in the name that you want the drive to be called. Click next and then finish and your new drive will be all ready to use. You can also use the command prompt or CMD to format a drive. Here's how to do it. Type CMD in the Cortana search box at the bottom of the taskbar. Then right click the command prompt option and choose run as administrator. If a warning pops up, then just press yes. A new window will appear. In the command prompt black window, type disk part and then press enter. Now type list disk and press enter. This will list all of the drives connected to your computer. Make a note of which disk you would like to use. Then type select disk and then the number that you want to use and then press enter. Then type clean and press enter. Then type create partition primary and then press enter. Then type format fs equals ntfs quick and then press enter again and this will format the ssd or hard drive if you want to assign this new drive with a particular drive letter then type assign with the required letter and then press enter that's it your drive has been formatted and it's all ready to use in windows so those are some of the best and easiest ways to format and reformat your drive so that you can store all of your favorite games and valuable data if you've enjoyed today's video then let us know by smashing that like button and if you're new here hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated with any future videos anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye